Hey Andy here from 2 Minute Tech Tutorials. In this short video tutorial I'm going to take you through the process of applying styles to your text within Microsoft Word. Now if you're new to the channel welcome along and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you find this video useful. I've also got plenty of other Microsoft Word tutorials on this channel so be sure to have a look at those too. Now in this tutorial I'm working on Word for Mac but if you're a Windows user then you'll still be able to follow along although some of the menus may look different within the interface all of the principles and everything that I'm going to show you in this tutorial you can still do on a Windows version of Microsoft Word. So first of all in this document you'll see that I have lots of different text and I've actually broken it down into sort of headings, body text, more headings, more body text so that I can show you how we can apply text formatting and work with styles. Now often what users will do is they'll use what we call direct formatting so that's when we select a piece of text and then we use the formatting toolbar up here or the formatting options and say for example okay I want this um, heading to be size 18 and bold and then this is going to be like a level 2 heading so I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller so we'll go for size 14 but again we'll go for bold and this time I'll do italics and then we'll scroll through the document we'll find another heading 2 and then by this point we've probably forgotten what we chose here so I think it was bold and italics and um, I think it was size 14. Now, as you can see from using that method of direct formatting, whilst it works, it's hard to guarantee consistency across your document because you may have formatted this heading here as a heading level 2 by 14. And then this one down here, you may have accidentally made this a 12 or later in the document like this one here, we might end up making that bold in italics, but instead of making it 14, we might type in, you know, 13. So what you can do in Microsoft Word is instead of direct formatting which not only takes extra time but can lead to inconsistency errors, what you can do if I just undo all of that and take it back to how it was, you can apply styles from this style menu and what this allows you to do is two different things. First of all it ensures consistency across your document and it allows you to work very very quickly but it also allows you to then unlock features like automatic tables of contents or cross-referencing where it can pull in the headings that you have used or the styles that you've used into other parts of your document. So for example with table of contents you can actually create an automatic table of contents that looks through your document for any time you've applied a heading 1 style or a heading 2 style and pull those into a table of contents automatically which I'll cover in another video and you can click on the card above if you want to view that video on how to create table of contents within Microsoft Word. So first of all let's take a look at how we can apply styles. Before I use any of the style options up here what I want to do is I want to go up to this design tab just to show you. So by default Microsoft Word will use the default theme. So you'll see here if I click on themes, Office has lots of different themes based on colours, font types, sizes, that kind of thing. And this one here is just the default one. You can see in here we have lots of different variations and if I jump back to the home tab just now you'll see where we've got these styles are all in kind of blue and black. If I was to go into design and choose this one here which is the um, this fancy theme which basically has orange in it if I then jump back to home you will see that these styles here have changed so let me just use command Z to undo that for now so if you are thinking about building a style you can make use of these themes here and there's lots of different theme options or what you can actually do is you can create your own particular styles for for example normal body text, for headings, for subtitles and then you can use this consistently throughout this document or any new document. Now if you want to apply one of these styles what you can do is you can click on this down pointing arrow which will basically show you all of the options and then all you simply do is click anywhere within a paragraph of text or a heading and then simply click on the style you wish to apply. So I'm going to make this a level heading 1 or level 1 heading and you'll see it has now applied that to that text. Now if I click anywhere inside this paragraph of text here, um, it's a, you'll see it takes on the normal text here and that's because the, the default when you add text in Microsoft Word is to use the normal style. If I jump down to here, this is going to be chapter 1 heading, I'm going to make this a heading level 2 heading 
So I'm going to use this one here. And then I'll scroll down and I'll find another one of these that's going to be level two as well. And we'll scroll down a bit further, further and we'll make that heading two as well. Now, if you have any other headings at other levels, of course you can make this, for example, um, we could make this one a heading level three. And what this will do is automatically create a fourth level heading just in here. But I'll just pop that back to number two for now. Now, what's nice about this is anytime you make a change to the heading style up here, it will apply that throughout your document. And another thing you can do is you can right click on these and you can choose select all instances and it will actually highlight throughout your document where you have used that particular style, which is quite helpful. Now, if you want to customize that style, all you need to do is click inside one of the headings, for example, this one here, you'll see it highlights it. Then you can right click and go to modify. Now what you can do is in here, you can give it a different name. So I could call this like subheading if I wanted. You can choose to base it on a specific style. And I'm not gonna go into too many details here. But then in here, you can start customizing. So I could say, actually, I want my heading here to be size 16. I want it to be bold. Um, for these chapters, instead of being this blue, I'd like it to be a darker blue. And then you can also go into where it says format here and you'll see there's loads of other options. So I'm not gonna go through any of these aside from perhaps paragraph, just to show you that you can do little things like you can put spacing or indentations. So I could say before or after this particular heading, I want um, six points either side. Then I'm gonna to go to okay. And then I'm gonna click okay. And you'll see it has now updated this heading here and this one and this one. And now we've got the space either side. Now, the final thing I want to show you in this quick tutorial is how to create your own new style to apply to a piece of text. Up until now in this tutorial, we've just been applying or modifying these presets or pre-existing styles. But what I want to do is I want to create a new style to apply to this piece of text here. To do that, I'm going to click on the styles pane just from here. And then what I want to do is I want to click on this button that says new style. From within here, I'm going to define my own new style. So I'm going to call this one um, quote, and I'll just put my name after it so we know it's definitely different from the one in the system. Then of course you can choose what you want it to, um, to be based on. So we've got style based on here, and you can choose from here. So I might actually base this loosely on the existing quote here, but instead of using the settings, I'm going to make it a blue color, I'm going to make all of my quotes in bold. And I like the fact that this one's indented, so that's fine. Final thing I'll do is I'll go to format and I'll maybe go to paragraph and I'll just check in here. So you'll see there's quite a big distance uh, between the before and after. I'm just gonna make them both 12. And then I'm going to go to okay. And then I'm going to click okay. And what you will see that now happens is up here, we have this brand new and a quotation style. Then all I need to do is click anywhere within the area where I want it to be applied or the, the paragraph. Then I quickly apply the quote and you'll see it has been applied to this. And if I want to reuse this at any point within the document, it's the same process as before. I simply click on the text and I apply the new style. If I want to return that to how it was before, I just have to change it back to normal and you'll see it reverts back to how it was originally. So working with styles in Microsoft Word, as I said, is a great way of quickly formatting your document and allowing you then to make use of these additional features such as creating a table of contents or cross-referencing to other parts in your documents. But above all else, it ensures that you can make your document consistent throughout and you won't have one heading, one size, and other headings within your document, a completely different style or size. If you found this video to be useful, remember to give it a like, and if you've not already done so, please do hit that subscribe button to support Two Minute Tech Tutorials. Be sure to check out my other Microsoft Word and other tutorials on my YouTube channel. But thanks again for watching.